Hey everyone, David here. I'm um, just going to show you a new locomotive that I just picked up from Lionel. Um, I got it for my birthday. So let's get right into the review and run some trains. Alright, what I got here is the brand new Lionel ES44-1775 uh, United States Army unit. Don't see too many of these online, so I'm going to do a review. I just picked this up at a train shop down in Kansas City. Brought it home with me on a trip out. Um, so let me uh, get all this packing material off and walk you through the setup. All right, we got it all hooked up and ready to go. Got track power. Got my freight train behind me. Um, we're just on a carpet layout here in my spare room. Nothing crazy, uh, just a temporary thing, which is why I'm using fast track. So let's uh, go through some of these voice sounds for you all, and then uh, we'll get a um, running session going. This is the tower. Make a pull to the pit to top her off. Over. Roger that. We're in position. Out.
stops. Everything's okay. Out. Thank you. You can proceed on calf signal indication to the next airlocking when ready. And that gives us a chance to look at some of the details of this locomotive. Um, one of my favorites is the separately applied brake chain on the other side here. I'll just pick it up real quick. I'll set this down on the carpet. Um, they have a separately applied brake chain on the side of the locomotive. Um, the Kilroy was here. Um, the fact that it's called a Nighthawk. It's just a freaking cool locomotive. Um, it is a standard ES44, Lionel has made plenty of these, but, um, it was between this or a, uh, BN SD40, I, I felt this one was a little more unique, as you heard with the horn. Obviously, it has a selection of other standard horns, but, um, that's the one that caught my attention. So, it's the one I went with, and... So far, I freaking love it. I'm going to eventually get a whole entire military train for this one to pull. Uh, I just thought it would look really good with the Santa Fe boxcar that I have uh, behind it here, and especially the war bonnet caboose. The red and silver really pops with this uh, locomotive. Um, black camo, I mean, what's not to like? So, I hope this review was helpful on a locomotive that you probably won't see very many of, and um, thanks for watching.